Have you ever wondered how your brain stores and retrieves all those precious moments and vital information? Well, stick around because we're about to uncover the incredible science behind it. The basics of memory, let's start with the basics. Memory is the brain's ability to store, retain, and retrieve information. It's a complex and dynamic process that involves various regions of the brain working together. At the heart of memory formation are billions of neurons, the brain's building blocks, communicating through intricate networks. When you learn something new, these neurons create connections, or synapses, which become the foundation of memory. Types of memory, memory isn't a one-size-fits-all concept. There are different types of memory, but let's focus on the three main ones, sensory memory. This type of memory retains information from your senses, like a fleeting image or sound. It lasts for a fraction of a second. Short-term memory, this is your brain's temporary storage unit, holding information for about 15 to 30 seconds, like a phone number you're trying to remember. Long-term memory, long-term memory is where things get interesting. It's where information is stored for an extended period, from days to a lifetime, the hippocampus and memory consolidation. To understand how long-term memory works, we must mention the star player in this memory game, the hippocampus. The hippocampus, a seahorse-shaped structure deep in the brain, plays a crucial role in memory consolidation. It's like the librarian of your brain, organizing and filing away new information into long-term storage. Formation of long-term memories, so, how are long-term memories formed? It's a two-step process, encoding and retrieval. Encoding, this is like the data entry phase. Your brain converts sensory input into a form it can understand, creating new connections between neurons. These connections, strengthened through repetition and emotional significance, become long-term memories. Retrieval, when you need to access a memory, your brain retrieves it. The hippocampus helps locate the memory and send it back to the frontal lobes for use. This process explains why practice, repetition, and emotional engagement enhance memory recall. Memory and emotion, emotions are memory's best friend. Our brains are more likely to remember emotionally charged events. This happens because emotional experiences trigger the release of neurotransmitters like adrenaline, strengthening the memory's encoding and making it easier to recall. Memory improvement techniques. Now that we understand the basics, let's talk about improving memory. Chunking. Break down information into smaller, manageable chunks. For example, instead of remembering a long string of numbers, group them into smaller sets, visualization, Create vivid mental images related to what you're trying to remember. Your brain loves pictures, mnemonic devices, use acronyms or rhymes to remember lists or sequences, memory disorders, unfortunately, memory isn't always reliable. Conditions like Alzheimer's disease and amnesia can severely impact memory function. Alzheimer's disease, for instance, leads to the deterioration of brain cells, especially in the hippocampus, affecting memory formation and recall. And there you have it, the neuroscience of memory in a nutshell. Our brains are the ultimate data storage devices, and understanding how they work can help us enhance our memory and even tackle memory-related disorders. If you found this video enlightening, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on more brainy content, keep exploring the wonders of neuroscience, and remember, your brain is your most incredible treasure trove of memories. Thanks for tuning in. Stay conscious.